Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video I want to review the Candle Trader EA. Now this is quite an exceptional EA in that it has been used to trade $5,000 to $1 million. On your screen you can see details of the web page discussing this Candle Trader EA. And I'm just going to go through this web page just to give you a, a little bit of a background to this particular EA. Essentially, if you if you know a bit about candlestick trading, you'll know that uh, the the price starts out at, at a particular level. It makes a low. It then either goes up or down. In this case, it went up and it closed at a certain level after making a high. So a candlestick normally has a wick on the upside, a wick on the downside, and a body which shows which direction the candle has moved. In this case, the bulls have made nice progress in this particular candle. It established a new high and a new low. And the, the, the difference between the high and low is basically the range that the price traded during the period of the candle. Now, this candle could be a one minute candle or it could be a daily candle. It doesn't matter. We're just looking at the concepts at this stage. But what really happens in the formation of a candle is that there is support and resistance established at the top of the candle and below the candle. And that makes great trading opportunities because in slow markets that resistance at the top is likely to hold and bounce the price back in or the low is, or the low which represents support is is expected to hold and bounce the tr price back back into the range of the previous candle so knowing this I've basically written an EA. This EA is pretty simple because what it does is when a new candle is formed, it looks at the previous candle and when it reaches the, the high, it will decide whether to buy or sell at that point or it, when it reaches the low, it will decide whether to buy and sell at that point. You need to tell it that and program that, but that's the decision making that play, takes place in this EA. So the question is, as shown at the bottom here, when do you trade a bounce and when do you trade a breakout? That's what the question is. So the, the EA itself is very simple, very simple indeed. It just looks at the previous candle and will trade either buys or sells at the high and low. So how do you know when to trade bounces and breakouts? So essentially you can do that from uh, observation. You can actually have a look at the charts and say, look, oh, during the quiet periods, it's good to actually trade the bounces back into the candle. And you'll find that from experience that is so. But in the more volatile times, it's better to trade the breakouts out of the low of a, of a previous candle or the, uh, or the breakouts out of a higher of the previous candle. When it goes quiet again, you then trade the, the bounces. When it gets volatile, you trade the breakouts. When it gets especially there, uh, you would trade the bounces. So the first way of determining when to trade bounces and breakouts is by a personal observation. And this EA, in fact, gives you the opportunity to set the times when it should be bouncing and set the times when it should be breaking. Very interesting EA. The other way is to look at statistics and statistics basically uh, can be obtained from a site like Mat Matoff. There's the link there and it shows the volatility of a particular currency. This is the Euro USD during the various stages in the market. So this re represents the Asian market. You can see the high in the Asian market, then it quieted down, then it was the European market and then it quieted down and then the U.S. market opened and huge volume because you've got an overlap of two major uh, markets and huge, uh, huge volatility. And then it calmed down, calmed down, and then went back to a very low volatility. So this that also gives you a guideline as to when to trade volatile uh, breakouts. So you would trade uh, you would trade bounces in the slow times and breakouts in the 
fast times. And then it also tells you which days are the most volatile. And on a Monday, for instance, you would most probably trade bounces more than you would trade breakouts. And on a Thursday, you would trade breakouts more than you would trade bounces. So those are sort of different guides uh, towards whether you trade back and then the other method is optimizing the ea by 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 saying by by optimizing the eoa in such a way that it tells you when it likes trading breakout trades and it also tells you when it likes trading bounce trades and you can optimize the ea to do that and then obviously forward trading is another way you actually trade the EA and it will slowly tell you when bounce trades are more uh, better to trade or breakout trades are better to trade so very simple ea and and, and that's how you get information on how to trade it and uh, if you look at the settings it's pretty it's pre they're pretty simple basically it looks at the previous bar so it's asking you what size bar must the must the previous bar be for me to start trading and and basically in this case this is these are scalping settings so in this case it's saying oh i need at least a three pip bar for you to start trading then it says what way do you want me to trade do you want me to sell the high and buy the low or do you want me to buy the high and sell? and that is in fact a drop down menu that you can choose then it says do you want longs and shorts to be allowed in other words do you want to trade both transactions and now if you're in the u.s you could then choose either longs or you can choose shorts so that you don't ever end up with a hedging situation but it does give you that choice. Uh, then the maximum spread uh, is uh, the next question is asked you. So if, if the spread is higher than five in this particular case, then the EA won't trade. Uh, then it says, how do you want a lot size? Either it's a percentage of your account or uh, on a lot size on a manual basis. That's the easy part. And then it says, all right, what kind of stop and what kind of target do you want to do now this is a scalping one and you and you'll see later on in the video we use these settings to um, uh, turn five thousand dollars into a million dollars almost exactly the same settings and uh, 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 in this case four has been selected as a stop and one has been selected as the target and then it also says as as i mentioned earlier you can choose your time of day when you want to trade breakouts or bounces and you can tell the EA exactly what which hours right down to the minute you want that to happen and you can also tell it which day of the week you want to, it to trade so it's a very very simple EA it's not complicated it's basically just there's just a couple of decisions and I've detailed the decisions there. Then the other thing is when you buy this EA, uh, there is a forum where lots of discussion takes place in terms of the settings. Uh, there's a lot of testing that happens. Uh, any question, questions and answers can be raised there. There are also examples how you can trade 5K to 1 million. It actually gives you an example and all you have to do is follow the example and uh, trade it so if you want to see the uh, the ea in action there will be a video showing you the trading how it's you it's being used to trade five thousand dollars into one million but essentially here's a visual presentation it sells the the, the previous candle high and it buys the previous candle low now the, the blues are one pip above the low because when you buy the 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 spread is added to the transaction and you actually enter slightly higher opposite when you sell so here you can see the ea working perfectly it's buying the previous lows and it is selling the previous highs so you can purchase this candle ea for only $18.95 very low price uh, uh, using the PayPal button on this particular webs web page, uh, what comes with it is is that all the update upgrades are free. You can use this EA on any two computers of your choice at the same time, but not more than two computers. So some people liking like using a VPS and a laptop, or a VPS and a desktop, and that's why we allow two computers to use it. Existing clients get fifty percent off the price. 
um, and they can find those buttons on the EA Factory website and you just need to click on this uh, button and the download instructions will be sent to your PayPal email address not your normal one your PayPal email address and during the transaction during the pay you will be given the forum password very important because that's where all the settings get shared and tested and, and that type of thing so you you'll want to pay attention at the end of your transaction just wait for 10 to 20 seconds you will see the forum password display to you if not just click on return to expert forex and you'll see it Okay, so that's a, a, an introduction to this EA. We're now going to have a look at how to how I traded five thousand dollars to one million dollars using this EA. After that session, it's very important. After that session, please watch the rest of the video because it will give you the link to purchase the EA. And it will also tell you a little bit more details about this particular EA. Very important details of its history, how it was developed, and how you can use it. So let's move straight on to the trading. Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex. And today we're going to be testing the Candle Trader. It's a version 1.1.1 of the Candle Trader. In this test, I'm going to be trying to trade $5,000 to $1 million using this unique EA. Now what this EA does, it's very clever. All it does is it buys the previous candles low and it sells the previous candles high. And it will all make sense. I'll go through this in a little bit more detail as we go on. So it's not a rocket science EA. We are using it on a special feed where the one minute candles are pretty big. And that is ideal for this type of trading. I'm going to be trading it on two currencies, the yen and the euro pound today. And uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's look at the settings that I'll be using today and I'll just uh, click on the uh, settings. And we're going to trade, we're only going to trade if the previous bar is at least two pips big. We're going to be selling the high and buying the low. We're going to trade both long and short transactions. So there could be a buy and a sell happening on the same candle. Uh, we're going to trade a maximum spread of one. So if the spread goes over one, we don't want to trade. Pretty good setting. And we're going to trade manual lots. And we're going to start out with 20 lots to start with. Uh, as we progress, as we probably double the account, we'll increase that to 40 and then to uh, 80 and then to... And this broker's maximum lots are 100 lots. So once we reach 100 lots, We'll keep it consistent there. The initial stop will be four pips, which means that the, if there's a one pip spread, effectively our stop is only going to be three pips. Our target is going to be one pip. And again, because there's a one pip spread, the price has to move two pips in our favor to make this deal work. Time of day doesn't matter. We're going to trade all day long and we're going to trade any day of the week. So pretty straightforward EA really professionally designed works pretty well and uh, we all we need to do is say okay now we don't have smiley faces and all i have to do is automate auto trading to get the smiley faces going and immediately some trades activate and you can see the buy and the sell on the same candle activating right there it's going pretty quickly as you can see and it's selling the high and buying the low. Now you can see the buys are not at the low because the buy has the spread built into it. So that is why those little those buys occur uh, one pip above the previous low. So here we go. We've got a couple of transactions. They've all been positive. We are already up to 6,900 within virtually the first minute of trading. So things are going pretty well. Let's uh, stick around for a while. It will get boring. I will uh, let it run for a while and uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, 10,000 
dollars pretty soon and and then i'll up the lot sizes to 40 lots per trade hopefully we can then get to uh, 80 lots at a at a later stage and then up to a hundred where we'll stay and the idea is to trade this account up to a million. It's going to take a while if you just calculate if we're making, say, roughly $1,000 a minute, uh, we're going to take 1,000 minutes. Uh, I am accelerating that a bit uh, by trading two currencies at the same time. But please bear in mind that there might also be negative trades that occur. Now, here's a trade that has occurred. It shows you where the stop is. It shows you where the target is. And there it hits the target. So uh, 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 the EA is also pretty good. It shows you exactly what's happening on the, on the charts. And uh, that, uh, that kind of feedback is pretty handy. Okay, I'm going to be, I'll pause the video until we reach 10,000 and then I will increase the lot sizing. We've doubled our account to 10,000 and what I'm going to do now is increase the lot size, which I'll just do quickly here. I think I'll increase it to 50 lots. So uh, let's uh, see how that goes. Future trades will occur at 50 lots and the increase will happen a lot faster. So when we reach 20,000, then I will increase the lots to um, 100 lots or 99 lots. And we'll just leave it at that point. We can't increase lots any further. We'll just have to leave the trading to carry on. The trading has gone on for, uh, let's have a look quickly. It has it's it started at 1904. It has run up to uh, 1918. So about 14 14 minutes to double the account, and hopefully it will go a lot faster from now on. You can see it's already increasing quite nicely. So again, I'll pause the video until it reaches 20,000, and then we'll make the last lot size adjustment, and then it will just run. We'll just leave it to run and see where it takes us. Okay, we've reached our 20,000 and I'll increase the lot sizing for all traded currencies. I have made some changes uh, because that, you've got to watch the charts uh, on this particular one. There has been some slippage and you can see on the charts there's been some slippage where cells were opened quite a lot l lower than they should have been and these re resulted in losses so what i've done is i've changed the setting on this particular one to only have buy transactions so it's going to slow the process down but that is fine i'd rather go for a little bit more safety On the CAD, everything seems to be going okay. All the cells are activating correctly and the buys are activating correctly. So uh, that one is fine. And I have added another currency, uh, the USD Yen, and uh, it has low volatility. So what I'm doing is I'm just trading buys on that particular one. And so it's the same as the Euro Pound. I've converted that those two currencies to buys only. Um, and that's quite important for the U.S. viewers who are watching this. It is possible to have a buy and a sell on the same candle. Therefore, it, uh, if you can set this EA to, to only buy and only sell and your results will not be too negatively impacted. So let's go ahead and make those changes. So I'm ch changing the 50 to a and I'll go for 80. So now we are trading 80 lots in this particular one. We'll make the change for the others. We'll go to 80 lots on that. And on this one, we'll move it up to 80. Okay, so uh, let's see. It is now at it was uh, the last... Uh, view was at 20,000. Let's get together again when it gets to 40,000. And at that point, I will 
increase the lots to the maximum lots allowed by the broker which are 100 lots uh, and I will increase the uh, lot sizing to 100 lots at that point then we will be stuck and we can review the progress of this trading every 100,000 or so I'm just pausing the video okay we've uh, reached 40,000 as our balance it's been just over half an hour to get to 40 of to trade 5,000 to 40,000 we are now going to uh, move the lot sizing to the highest it can go which is 100, 100 lots and the progress should be quite good from now on the uh, the progress is, is basically uh, slowed down quite a lot in that I'm only trading buys in the, in this particular currency because there seems to be a bit of slippage on the, this currency on the US CAD for instance there's no such slippage so it's safe to trade buys and sells on that one and on the yen at the moment I am being conservative and only trading buys so let's see how it goes I will we can log in again when it reaches a hundred thousand and I'm not sure how long that's going to take it should be within the uh, next half an hour or so uh, we could have a chat then and uh, unfortunately we are stuck to the maximum lots allowed by this particular broker otherwise we this process could go a lot faster so i'll pause the video again and we'll get together around uh, about the hundred thousand mark okay we've reached over a hundred thousand there we are hundred thousand on the board over that it has taken let's have a look uh, we started out at 1904 it is now 2010 so in just over an hour we have produced over hundred thousand dollars of profit so i'm going to let it run and uh, maybe uh, run about three hundred thousand when it reaches three hundred thousand which should be in an hour and a half's time we will get together again and have a look at it just looking at the the ea as you can see i've changed the trading to be only buy only because of a few slippage items on the uh, sales i might go back to sales because the slippage isn't that that expensive uh, and uh, this uh, this currency the CAD has been trading quite nicely there has been slippage you can see there's some cells there cells there and cells there but not too serious the uh, profits from the the successful trades have have been better and cancelled out those losses and we have no losses on this particular currency or uh, but it is also set for buys only this is the USD yen so uh, yeah as you can see we started over there there are all the transactions being shown on this on the charts quite a nice visual uh, uh, view and uh, we are at a hundred thousand right now and as I said we are going for a million so I will start the video again around about three hundred thousand uh, and we could have a look at the progress that was made we've reached our 300,000 mark and I have made some changes the US CAD started creating a bit of slippage on its sell trades again not too serious because on the whole the positive trades were more than cancelling out the uh, losses but I have changed to this e that EA to only trade by trade so now we have three currencies only trading by trades and as you can see they are incredibly reliable you can get a hundred percent success rate just trading by trades so why bother about the sales trades if they're going to be problematic so we are at 300,000 let's have a look how long it's taken we started at 1904 it is now 2134 so that is so that is two and a half hours we've taken two and a half hours to generate three hundred thousand dollars of profit now going by that 
uh, it's going to take us another two and a half hours to generate another 300,000 and that will take us to uh, 600,000 so what I'm going to do again I'm going to just pause the video and we'll have a look at the progress once we've reached 600,000 before I do that let's just have a look at the trading account you can see that we've basically got a hundred percent success record and you you can see that the CAD cells were the ones that were generating the losses but they weren't really seriously impacting profitability but still uh, it would be nice not to have the have those losses those losses are quite big three thousand dollars three thousand dollars so that is why I switched off the CAD sales and only went for buys okay so we'll get together in about uh, two and a half hours to see what progress has been made when the account has reached 600,000 right back again and uh, we've just passed the 600,000 mark on your screen you'll see the price charts of the currencies traded from the time that we started trading them and you can actually see all the transactions I've reduced the size of the chart to try and fit it in I think I can actually reduce it more there we are so it just shows you by trading such a simple concept as buying uh, the the low and selling the high that we've done pretty well today let's see how long this has taken us there we are there's the trading for today it started at so we started the day at 1904 it is now 2317 which means that we've been trading for four and a quarter hours we've been trading for four and a quarter hours and we've made um, and we've made six hundred thousand dollars in those four and a half hours so our march to a million is well on its way hopefully we'll get there pretty soon most probably in the next two hours or so so there's nothing much more to report so just going to be uh, be trading as per normal you can see there have been a few uh, outlying slippage trades there's a a outlying buy trade that was wrong and there's another one was wrong. and and that's what happens when the price moves fast you just got to live with those but particular trades they 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 are they are negative trades but um, you can see there are not many of those type of trades so here we go we into the final stretch and uh, let's see how long it takes to get to the million but we're well on our way no changes required at this stage and away we go I will pause the video again and um, I'll get back when we hit our million by the way I'm trading through the uh, start of the Asian market to the end of the Asian market hopefully we won't hit, hit the uh, European market opening because I'm trying to go for the more quiet times of the markets because I am trading bounces back if you trade in the more volatile times sometimes it's better to trade in the breakout trades so here we go um, I'll be back when we reach a million we, we're just about to hit the 1 million mark right now you can see the balance is pretty close to that at the moment here are our trade here are our currencies that are being traded and I'm just going to minimize them to give you a better view of what has happened we've been trading it since that time and let me get it right down this one there we are so you can see the three currencies that we're trading in the beginning we traded buys and sells on both of them there and on on this particular one and then st only started trading buys because of slippage on the sell side same thing happened on the top one here let's let's just minimize it and we've just had a loss <laughs> Murphy's Law rogue buy there, there are a few of them that have happened uh, there are four there that we can see and there's one there so we hit a rogue buy right at the last moment uh, in in this final run up to the million dollars so we'll just have to wait a little bit longer and I'll just make that a bit smaller 
So there we are. There's our currencies. Here again, you can see we started with buys and sells, soon realized that the sales were slipping, and we then in, went into only a, a buy mode. Same here. This one lasted a lot longer, but then went into buy mode only. And buy modes uh, was uh, more reliable. And hopefully in the next minute or two, we could hit the mil million dollar mark. And here, this one has just been perfect. No losses just produce some really nice returns. The bottom one is the yen, and the middle one is the Canadian dollar, US Canadian dollar, and the top one is the euro pound. So uh, let's uh, let's wait and see. We we need another four thousand dollars to to hit our target, and uh, we'll just wait until those transactions get generated. Okay, back to the balance when we started the session. So hopefully in the next minute, uh, there will be some more successes. Okay, there we are. We've done our million and there's one million and one thousand dollars. And we can actually, what I'm going to do is just close the EAs off. So the auto trading is off right now. And uh, we've... Uh, achieved our goal so to summarize summarize what's happened uh, i started out with the uh, euro pound trading buys and sells there was a bit of slippage on sales so i converted just to buy only and that went pretty well in spite of that there were a couple of slippages here four or five slippages uh, the same thing with the cad we started out with buy and sell had a few slippages on the sales and then went on to the buy mode only with one uh, losing buy and then the, the yen uh, did not produce any losing trades um, and I, I never went into the buy and sell mode on that particular one let's have a look at how long this took as you know we started at 1904 it is now 123 so that is over six hours of trading. Not bad to make a million dollars in six hours. We didn't quite make a million dollars. We took our balance from 5,000 to a million. So we were 5,000 short. But as you can see, if I just left it a minute or two, we would have made our million. Again, a very simple EA selling at the top of the candle and buying at the bottom of the candle. What made this possible was the price feed used by these brokers the price feed on this particular currency is has a four pip height so in other words every one minute candle has a four pip height and this is what made this this trading possible you will if you look at a normal broker you'll see that their one minute candles are sometimes only one pip high very a lot smaller than this so this is quite an unusual price feed it is a price it's what we call a four digit price feed and that's what makes this possible unfortunately the brokers that use this price feed are all scam broke sorry to be a bearer of bad tidings but the brokers that use these price feeds are they will scam you out of your whole account uh, if you try and trade do this on a live account so they freely allow it on a demo account but it will never happen on a live account and trust me um, further on in the video you will see some information that will help you with that i hope you've enjoyed the trade it's pretty interesting and entertaining but unfortunately it has limited application in live trading oh that was exciting turning five thousand dollars into a million in a couple of hours now, I actually did this a while ago, uh, over just over a month ago, and uh, in front of you, you can see the video that I posted on YouTube. It had a lot of hits, 50,000 hits. It was done on a demo account and raised a lot of interest in terms of would this work on a live account. So what happened was we then formed a project team and we got about... 200 people contributing various amounts to the project team to test whether this EA would work on a live account.
Now, why we needed a project team is that the brokers that accept these ki this kind of trading have minimum account sizes of five thousand dollars for s what they call straight through processing. In other words, processing where the broker doesn't get involved in. And that was basically a huge big con because we then collected the money, put it in a, in, in a, an account and, and the $5,000 was literally stolen by the Forex broker in three minutes. You need to watch the video to see how this was done, but they literally took over the trading platform and just did what they wanted and cleared $5,000 out of the account in the space of three minutes and they are a, a complete scam broker but there's really little one can do about it even a forex peace army is pretty useless in pursuing these kind of matters we are pursuing criminal charges but uh, that's going to take quite a long time this ea is not tradable on a live account that uses four digit price feed structures now the four digit price feed structures gives you a a, a, a one minute candle that is approximately five, three to five pips long which is what you need to trade this the do the type of trading that you've just seen so in a nutshell again this should not be traded on, on a live account if you do you if you do try and trade it on a live account you need to know what you're doing we thought we did but there's no defense against a completely completely dishonest broker i've discussed this with a number of brokers and there are just hundreds of ways they can get out of the, what they just did the object of this is actually just to discredit them and so that nobody will ever trade a live account with them ever ever again with that background you must now realize why such a professional and sound ea with very good technical analysis methodology is being sold for such a small price it's basically just a novelty ea which you can use to show your friends how you can turn five thousand dollars into a million dollars or something like that something smaller maybe a thousand dollars into ten thousand dollars in a very short time however having said that we have done some preliminary tests which show that it is possible to have profitable trades on conventional brokers if the settings are such that you catch the bounces at the right time of day and the breakouts at the right time of day it is possible to make profits but this ea is not is not sold with that information you have to find that information the forum is very active and the owners of this ea are active looking for settings and currencies and time frames that that will suit this ea perfectly so if you do buy the ea you can join the forum and and in, get involved in those discussions there is potential that this ea will be a profitable ea on a conventional broker when you purchase this ea you, uh, all upgrades will be free and it will have the normal professional support that all our other eas have we have a number of much more robust EAs that have been proven that you can access when you become a, a client of Expert Forex. By purchasing this EA, you become a client of uh, Expert Forex and automatically that entitles you to a 50% discount on any future purchases that you make. Also, I would encourage you to join our mailing list because we do come up with quite interesting trading concepts, unusual ones. We have a, a weekly newsletter which may be of interest to you. Now, the link to purchase this EA will be displayed on the top right hand side of your screen right now. Click on that link and you will be taken to this website. If you miss that, please look at the description of this video. It will have the same link in it, which you can click on and go to this particular website to purchase this EA. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it interesting. It is only on a demo account. It does not work on live accounts. It is what you've seen today is really of entertainment value, but somebody out there is going to find a way to use this on a live account and hopefully that will be reported in the forum. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.